there are 76 million of us just here in the US. We are the biggest generation that ever existed. We were called the me ones, the crazy ones, and boy, do we know what that means, don't we? In fact, we have reinvented every single phase of our life. We were the yuppies, we were the hippies. We like innovation. Well, now we are in the winter of our life. And I can assure you, this is not going to be your average winter. I invite you to join me at Boomerology Reviews every single week so we can figure out how boomers are reshaping this phase of their lives. Join me. Welcome to Boomerology Revealed. I'm Shahar Boyayan, your host. Baby boomers have a lot to juggle. You know, our families, our lives, grandchildren, aging parents, maybe a job, maybe a business. It's a lot and sometimes our emotions get out of tune. So how do we manage our emotions? How we keep our emotional wellness in place? My guest today is Lisa Myers, and she's going to talk to us about emotional wellness and essential oils. Let's watch. So in life, we always have ups and downs. That's totally normal. And sometimes we find ourselves in the darkest hours of our life. And at that moment, we need to take care of our emotional well-being just to keep going. I invited today Lisa Myers, and she's going to talk to us about emotional wellness. And we're going to start with your own story. Tell me a little bit when you found yourself in your darkest moments. I was, is about 1998. My business was failing, and my husband had no clue how far in debt I was with my business. I was paying Peter to pay Paul to pay Anne to pay Joseph to try and keep everything afloat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you get to that point where you just want it to end. Luckily, I, you know, at that time, I believed it, that if I committed suicide, I'd go to hell. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is hell on earth. And I don't want to live in eternity hell. Okay, and living in Utah, you <laughs> thought maybe hell is better because it's warmer. <laughs> exactly. And so I was just at that darkest, darkest moment. I just believe that all my emotions were just really tapped down, just really tapped down. And I really believe that if I let release my emotions, I go catatonic. I would just break. And I met a woman that used essential oils. So 1998, mm -hmm. and I went to see her. Like she explained, essential oils go right to the olfactor nerve. And with emotional health, it just breaks that barrier immediately. So she was able to help me through the essential oils to break that barrier, to release that emotions. We were there for just a couple hours. It worked that fast with using the essential oils. But it seemed like we were there for days. And I walked out with a determination, a new sense of hope, a new change in that I closed my business. I was able to move forward. And so I will always thank her and thank the fact of being introduced at that time. That was one session you had with her? One session. That's that was how enough fast. to trigger a whole different set of attitudes. In. Absolutely. What I came from was that I was coming from that belief of not being good enough. Mm -hmm. and Which is very common, right? It, absolutely. I, you know, if we were to close our eyes in an auditorium of people mm -hmm. and just have everybody close their eyes and say, if once in your life or even now, if you have had that feeling of not feeling good enough, not feeling that you're worthy, raise your hand. Everybody. And everybody would raise their hand. Mm -hmm. And we don't realize how that impacts everything we do, how we self-sabotage ourselves. Because we have to live from the belief that we have about ourselves. So if you believe you're a failure, you have to create the circumstances mm -hmm. where you'll fail mm -hmm. so that you have that belief. And you, you start feeling comfortable in that situation, right? Right. Actually, Tony Robbins says something that I think is unbelievable, that our biggest fear is not of failure, is of our own potential, of how big we are, right? And sometimes it is that mm -hmm. you use the word boycott, and that's what triggered that thought in my mind, because we do that. We do yeah. everything that is possible to keep us where we know 
Yeah, and where we're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. have a develop our full being. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, in one of your previous episodes, you know, you talk about the thermostat. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, I mean, we feel comfortable at a certain level. Exactly. And once we get over that level, then we'll do stuff to slow it down. Or if we go below the level, then we'll be like, oh, I'm determined. I'm going to go do something. I'm, in, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. That was how I was introduced to the essential oils and how I've introduced it with my clients as well, is it is such a fast way of really moving through those emotional barriers that we have. You know, because, so let's go there. Yeah. Let's go there. Let's just have a break with a word from our sponsor. If you are diabetic like me, or maybe you have arthritis, or even if you're a pregnant mother, you really want to pay attention to the product I'm going to show you. It's a lot more than a product, it's a system. It's the FoodMate system. One piece of the system is this brush. You know, you can use this brush in your shower or in your bathtub. It has soft bristles here for the tender places in your feet and stiffer bristles right here that takes away all the dry skin and rough areas. But that's not only what makes the system. We also have the rejuvenating gel. The rejuvenating gel is composed of tea tree oil or maleluca aloe vera and conditioning. And as we all know, tea tree oil and aloe vera are fantastic for healing skin and takes, they take away also the odor. So even if you have some sports fan inside your home, you might want to try the systems with them. Now, like I said, you can use in the shower or in your bath. The, the system has suction cups that you can put to any smooth surface and use it there, either on the walls of your bed or on the floor. If you don't have a smooth surface, you just need to put one foot on one side while you brush the other, so you're always safe. Foot mate system is really great, especially if you have diabetes, arthritis, you're a pregnant mother ha having a hard time reaching your feet, and of course, athletes that need to take that odor out. You can find Footmate at footmate.com. So we were talking about your clients. Yes, I've now incorporated using essential oils with working with my clients again for because it goes through that you know goes right to the olfactor nerve and it just breaks down those emotional barriers that you've just been camped down so a lot of times you know you'll go to a therapist and you're just talking and you're really not getting to the root and after session after session it gets quite expensive mm -hmm. and so what I have found is by using the essential oils going it just brings them into um, that realm, that space where it moves a lot faster. It brings up those emotions as well. It brings the emotions, the awareness, right? And uh, it helps them release, is that correct? Exactly. And you use uh, with hypnosis, right? Exactly. You know how you've had like a favorite grandma or uh -huh. an aunt or somebody, you know, even men, you know, that have that special clone or whatever, and you'll have that smell and it takes you right to them, it, it reminds you. And so a lot of times in hypnosis, you know, we'll, because I do what's called positive change hypnosis, where I'll take statements, positive statements mm -hmm. into hypnosis, thereby changing that uh, belief that in your brain, you know, that I'm not good enough, I can't do things. By using essential oils and say orange, or um, rose or lang lang or you know some of those certain smells mm -hmm. that putting that in the hypnosis then when they smell it it takes them right into, into that, that space and that reminder yeah it so it's a, as a perfect way it's interesting that you say that because when we are thinking, okay, I need to be more positive in life, and you know, I'm going to say affirmations, and all that is good, but the fact is that we are trying to condition a part of our brain that is very resistant to change, right? Mm -hmm. And he and he likes to live in what he knows as comfortable. What you're telling me is that with through hypnosis, I can actually create the new reality, exactly. the positive space where I create the new reality of that, what that brain can really allow to become, 
-hmm. And I'm actually putting the barriers down, is that correct? Exactly. In hypnosis or with anything, I mean, we made decisions by the time we were six years old mm -hmm. of I'm not good enough or I can't do this. We had a situation and in essence it became our story. And it's just a story. And a lot of times, you know, if you're sitting around with the family and you're all sharing stories and you share your experience, other members don't even see it the way you've seen it. Yes. It's your story. So through hypnosis, we're changing stories. Awesome. We're changing those feelings. So you first have that thought or that belief. We're changing that thought or that belief, changing those feelings. And essential oils, it just, it's like anchors it. I love essential oils. I use myself. Uh, I don't take drugs and mm -hmm. I think they, they are not only affordable, mm -hmm. they are effective, they are simple to use, they make a lot of sense. You, you were mentioning about not feeling good enough. One mm -hmm. thing that I always have in my bag is that if I feel, you, you know, sometimes we go on stage and it can be frightening, mm -hmm. so you feel kind of insecure or self-esteem is not there. I have an inhaler with peppermint mm. and you know, I smell peppermint and that boots my self-esteem back to place. So I really like that. Tell me a few of your favorites when it comes to emotional wellness. So one of them, and this was shared by a friend that for her son mm -hmm. who has ADHD mm -hmm. and she said that she didn't want to go with the, you know, the uh, medicines, the traditional. And so she started using lavender and he'd been getting a lot of complaints uh -huh. at school, you know, disruption and so forth. And she actually puts it on, on the insides of his wrists and then alternates on the bone right here mm -hmm. in the back. And he has stopped having any complaints with the teachers. He focuses simple things like that, right? Mm -hmm. You want to have husband and wives. They want to have a conversation, but they don't feel safe. Yes, and then that's very common, right? Right. So mm -hmm. they go into what we call silence or violence, right? <laughs> they, they go into silence and they won't talk to each other, or they go into violence where they're picking at each other mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. making remarks. Well, you can use essential oils like uh, calming lavender is great, where you can, in essence, diffuse it, mm -hmm. create that nice um, environment, space, space, environment yeah. to where you can have a talk. Mm -hmm. If you want to get energized, like you say, using the peppermint. You know, one thing I love, and this is just, you know, to throw that out, is like with the doTERRA essential oils. One thing I love about the peppermint is that you can have it, have a drop in hot water as a tea, mm -hmm. and everybody knows that peppermint tea is just a way of just absolutely calming and relaxing, you know, when you're stressed out and so mm -hmm. forth. And they're healthy. They're extremely healthy. You know? I mean, they build your immune system. And we already know that stress is the number one killer, really, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it creates all of the other side effects. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there are many, many studies out there. A lot of people think, oh, this is hocus pocus and, you know, it's not real. There are over 20,000 scientific studies backing essential oils. What I really like is when you said at the beginning, it talks to, to your, right to your brain, the amygdala, mm -hmm. where we host fear. Yeah. Right? And just being able to take some fear out of your life, what a huge difference can it make? Because we have to think, you know, we have all this potential and this, sometimes we are allowing us to be small and to play small. And a simple thing like a drop that comes from the earth could change all that. I love the idea with the hypnosis though, uh, into, okay, I'm going to talk positive and I, I'm going to smell the right oils. It can still be a process because you don't know how deep those fears are. But with hypnosis, I could create, I'm going to call, and I know it's probably mm -hmm. not what you say, but an alternate reality exactly. that my brain will accept as the new reality. And then it helps me move forward. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same thing as having a dream. Mm -hmm. Your body doesn't know that it's, that it's real. not reality, mm -hmm. right? So it takes it as reality. But at the same time, you can take that essential oil and you can just, yeah. just breathe and get into a state and then say those affirmations. Mm -hmm. And they're far more effective they're than if you're just saying them. Yeah, yeah. Lisa, if people want to know more about this, want to talk to you, maybe have a session with you, how should they contact you? So they can go to lisa at lisamyers.com and that is spelled L-E-E-S-A and Lisa is L-E-E-S-A-M-Y-E-R-S.com. 
Okay, awesome. And that's the best way. Yeah, there's a lot to this topic, right? There's mm -hmm. a lot that can be done when it comes to emotional wellness. So, you know, go, go deeper into that because it's worth, you can accomplish lots of good things. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the show this week. If you did, don't forget to share, thumbs up, rate our channel. These are the type of things that keep us going. And I'll meet you next week at Boomerology Revealed.